With studios eager to build as much hype as possible before their films are released, March has been a fire sale month for new movie trailers. Oh my god! We're having a fire sale! Oh, the burning! It burns me! Over the course of the month, we saw new trailers for high-profile releases like Infinity War, Deadpool 2, and Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald, along with some exciting first looks for upcoming films like the Sicario sequel and Action Point, to name a few. With so many movies big and small on their way to theaters in 2018, it's a lot to go through. Here's a look at the trailers released in March 2018 for films that we're getting excited about. Wildling From IFC Midnight, Wildling is a horror thriller about a young girl named Anna who's thrust into the modern world after spending her whole life being raised by her father in the woods. She's put in the care of a police officer, played by Liv Tyler, who soon realizes that there's something strange about the girl. In particular, Anna can't seem to shake her fear of a local legend about a ferocious beast called the Wildling. There's a lot to take in from the trailer, which sort of hints that Anna may be the mysterious Wildling. He ate all the other children. You're the last one left. Hopefully that isn't the movie's main plot twist, but even if it turns out to be, Wildling at least looks like an enjoyable ride. Wildling hits theaters and video-on-demand services on April 13th. Avengers Infinity War With another full-length trailer for Infinity War released this March, Marvel is definitely cashing in on the hype. Set to an emotional rendition of the original Avengers theme, the newest trailer hints at a plan to make Thanos come to the Avengers' home field to secure his Infinity Stones, and of course offers more glimpses of the epic superhero team-ups we're all waiting for. Tony Stark and Peter Parker hash out a plan with Peter Quill and Drax, Captain America hitches a ride with T'Challa, Thor brings the lightning with Rocket and Groot. It's like getting all the ice cream flavors on one cone. Well, minus whatever the Hawkeye flavor is. Very berry? Look for Avengers Infinity War on April 27th. Terminal What is this movie about? The teaser gives nothing away, which is admittedly what teasers are supposed to do. Most of the visuals simply show a pair of feet in high heels walking down a candlelit aisle. Margot Robbie headlines Terminal and her voiceover in the trailer hints at dark happenings. Mike Myers and Simon Pegg are also slated to star in the film, although their roles are still just as much of a mystery as the rest of Terminal. This train's riding into the station on May 11th. Deadpool 2 Deadpool 2's trailers have all revealed something new, and this one sees Deadpool putting together the X-Force team, with plenty of action along the way. While the first trailer was mostly filled with jokes about the film's CG and writing, this one touches on the story a little more, revealing that Cable is on a mission involving Julian Dennison's character and giving a little more screen time to the new cast of mutants. At this point, we're all definitely hyped for Deadpool's second coming on May 18th. Action Point Judging by the trailer, Action Point will lie somewhere between a scripted film and a jackass stunt showcase. The film draws from the real-life Action Park, a notorious New Jersey water park. There's nothing in the world like Action Park! The park featured such attractions as Cannonball Loop, a rickety water slide that began with a steep 45-degree drop and ended in a bone-crunching full 360-degree loop before ejecting patrons into a plastic tarp being sprayed down by an employee with a garden hose. Yeah, it was that kind of water park. So it should be no surprise that Johnny Knoxville honed in on Action Park as the subject for his newest movie. It's the perfect canvas for painful, epic stunts, and with jackass mainstays like Chris Pontius along for the ride, we're just crossing our fingers that the movie production suffers fewer casualties than the park itself. Let's see what this baby can do. Take the ride on June 1st. Tag. Go ahead and make all the Hawkeye jokes you want, but you can't deny that Tag looks like a fun film. The story centers on five friends who have spent most of the last 30 years playing the same game of tag. For one month every year, they engage in a no-holds-barred game of You're It, ignoring all social conventions while the game is on. Wedding ceremony? Funeral for a father? It doesn't matter, as long as they can get within tapping distance of each other. I think your dad would have really wanted you to be Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, Tag is actually based on a true story about a group of friends who have been doing this exact same thing for decades. It's not all lighthearted playground antics either. It was this film, and not Infinity War, that saw Renner break both of his arms performing a stunt. That's a little more hardcore than getting together with your old friends for a game of Yahtzee. The game begins on June 15th. Under the Silver Lake 
from David Robert Mitchell, the guy who brought us 2015's It Follows. Under the Silver Lake is a surreal neo-noir mystery comedy about a young man in LA who starts searching for clues about a woman's disappearance. The deeper he digs, the more he begins to believe that there's a secret code embedded in the world's media, with everything from pop songs to cereal boxes hiding messages for him to decode. From the looks of the trailer, Under the Silver Lake will be a swan dive into paranoia, centered on a man who may have discovered the world's biggest, darkest secret, or he might just be crazy. Either way, the trailer promises plenty of suspense, violence, and conspiracies, all wrapped up in a quirky comedy. Under the Silver Lake hits theaters on June 22nd. Sicario, Day of the Soldado 2015 Sicario raked in huge amounts of critical praise for its unflinching portrayal of Mexico in the grip of a cartel war. Although it wasn't exactly the kind of movie that screamed for a sequel. Day of the Soldado will see Josh Brolin and Benicio del Toro reprising their roles from the first film. Their job in Soldado is to push the Mexican cartels into a full-on war, no matter who gets caught in the crossfire. Who are you gonna help us start a war? With who? Everyone. Denis Villeneuve, who helmed the first film, won't be returning as director. The reins are instead going to Stefano Solima, an Italian director whose previous credits include 2015's Subura and the TV series Gomorra, both of which focus heavily on organized crime. In other words, he should be a good match for the Sicario brand. And with a script from Taylor Sheridan, screenwriter of the original, Sicario Day of the Soldado ought to be just as powerful as its predecessor. Look for it in theaters on June 29th. The House with a Clock in Its Walls as a director, Eli Roth is best known for movies like Cabin Fever, Hostel, and The Green Inferno. You know, not the kind of stuff you'd take your kids to. So it may be surprising that Roth is set to direct this upcoming children's fantasy film. The story centers on a young boy who moves in with his uncle, who enlists the boy to help him find a magical clock in the house that has the power to bring about the end of the world. In the trailer, we get our first look at Jack Black as the uncle and Kate Blanchett as the powerful witch who lives next door. From the looks of it, the house with the clock in its walls is turning into a slightly creepier a series of unfortunate events. And with Steven Spielberg's production company Amblin Entertainment behind the film, it should be a whole lot of fun. Look for it on September 21st. Fantastic Beasts – The Crimes of Grindelwald Newt Scamander is traveling to Paris in the latest trailer for Fantastic Beasts – The Crimes of Grindelwald, where he apparently bumps into a young, handsome Albus Dumbledore, played by Jude Law. Dumbledore recruits Scamander to help him put a stop to Grindelwald's plans. This looks like the start of a magical journey that will traverse the globe and, of course, feature plenty of Fantastic Beasts to both help and hinder our heroes. From new shots of Johnny Depp as Grindelwald to several scenes inside Hogwarts, the trailer offers just enough to give Potter Files a thrill of excitement. Fantastic Beasts the Crimes of Grindelwald apparates into theaters on November 16th. Thanks for watching! Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.